Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust on the PC on my Rust Nitrado uh, private server and in this video, first I need to apologise for any problems with the audio in the video. When I'm recording these videos on my old laptop, things tend to get a little bit um, crackly and a bit Cylon-ish, but hopefully you'll get the idea. I just want to talk about uh, as an introduction to the F1 console admin controls that, that you can get with uh, you can get with Rust because they're very very powerful indeed especially when you can compare them to what we get on Daisy. so as the owner of the private server and I've set myself up as an admin and I'll put links in the video description down below how you um, how you can set your server up for that and how you can do that I have access to certain commands now with everybody in Rust if you press F1 you bring up you bring up the console um, but as an admin you have some extra and extra commands so um, to start off with, you can spawn things into the environment. So I could, for example, press F1 and I could say spawn scrap um, transport helicopter. And lo and behold, right in front of us, we have a transport helicopter so I could put some fuel well I could give myself some fuel and then I could fly off around the map so you can see how powerful this could be if you were setting up events and things like that on your server because you can do things like um, say you wanted to build you could say something like give rock 1000 and then if you go into my inventory Oh, 10,000. I've given myself 10,000 rock. I've given myself 10,000 wood and 10,000 ore, 10,000 bits of metal. So you can just build stuff incredibly easily. Very, very simply indeed, as, as the admin. Um, that's very easy. You could do stuff, you can say, um, give M249. And then go into my inventory. And then we've got find any bullets uh, there we go there's one with bullets and you could then spawn in um, bullets on yourself as well and you can give things to players as well um, really importantly as well you can set god mode so you go god true and that means I'm now indestructible because that is very important if I then type in F1 I can type no clip because then we can do this we are flying and obviously you want to be indestructible when you do this because as you're flying around visiting different parts of the map you'll probably want to go out to things like the cargo ship or the oil rig or the different places where there's NCPs who will shoot at you <laughs> if they see you and also if you were to um, turn um, no clip off, you want, if you fall, you don't want to die. Now, what I just did there is I just pressed L to turn it off because one of the things you want to be able to do is you want to bind uh, commands. So you want, so if you want to bind a particular uh, key to a command, you can say bind. Oop, click in here. Bind L no clip. So that means that instead of having to press F1 and type no clip, I can just press L and then I can fly. Press L and I'm back on the ground again. Really useful, very, very powerful. And this is only scratching the surface of what you can do with these commands. Because if you go over to um, Corrosion Hour, and I'll put links to this in the description down below, you've got the Rust admin commands list for 2020. And you have on the left, you have the command name, um, the default setting, whether that be true, false, or a number setting, and then a description of things you can change. That's a little bit dry, though. I recommend you head over to, they just call it um, admin command, if you if you go to, uh, to commands list. And what they do then is they, they break it down more. So, for example, when you go into the Rust uh, transport helicopter, it tells you about the transport helicopter, what it does, how to control it, and then finally at the end, it tells you the command that you can use to get the transport helicopter going. 
and also what you tend to do when you're using this one is I would recommend you go to the bottom and start at the back start at six how to do airdrops and then work your way backwards looking through them looking for the things that you'll find interesting that you may want to try on your server and then when you want to spawn things in on yourself or give them to other players there's the shortlist as well which gives you the description what the actual shortlist name is you know um, give ammo dot rifle and then the ID and you can search and you can sort out by alphabetical reverse or the other way and it's very very useful indeed so there we go hopefully that's given you a little bit of a flavor for the uh, F1 console admin commands give you night get your imagine get your imagination running get those uh, creative juices flowing about the possibilities what you could do with commands like this in your rust server imagine if we had commands as easy as this in daisy anyway that's enough for me hit like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more of the same and i'll see you again soon